Welcome to Beyond Measure and a Team KNK tutorial video. We're working in Make the Cut software. Go to Basic Shapes and get two rectangles and one rounded cornered square. We're creating a pop-up mechanism. Size and stack in the manner in which you need it for your mechanism. Some of the paths need to be edited because they do not need to be cut. When you're finished editing the paths, take your rounded square, size, and stack upon the pop-up cuts that you were just working on. Select everything and join. This is a square from the basic shapes in which I'm shaping into a rectangle go figure for the inside of the card. For the Father's Day card, it's quite apropos to use Tim Holtz cardstock. Score in the middle for the inside of your card. We'll call this pop-up the chevron pop-up, and you'll need to score down the center. Then we'll flip it over so that we can see the cutting and the score areas more easily. And score where we edited the paths. Now we get to do our folds. First, pinch the little chevrons towards you and then make sure that the other score line makes it so that the right sides are together. Be sure to use your bone folder to get a nice crisp fold. Let's see, I'll call this pop-up the chair pop-up, although it's not really a chair. And once again, we will need to score where we edited the paths, along with a couple of extra scores beyond that. See, like this one right here, and this one right here. Oopsie, there's a couple just right here too. This is when it comes in handy, a picture is worth a thousand words. So look closely at the way this is folded. And these mechanisms will be adhered in the center of our card. Okay, so let's get our little chevron pop-up and coat one side of it with your glue runner. You could use other adhesive. I just choose to use this because it's pretty instantaneous. When placing this mechanism on the inside of your card, make sure that your folds are flush. Now that half of it is already lined up, let's adhere this second half. Next, take our chair pop-up mechanism and adhere the glue runner tape on all sides, making sure to not put adhesive on the areas that pop out. Place in the center of this chevron pop-up and make sure that the center fold is flush. Next, this is a glimpse of the amazing over-the-top Zing cutting machine by Click and Cut. I was cutting the helm. These are the Jelly Roll Gold Shadow Pen. Set your speed at 9 and your force at 22 to write with this on paper. Oh, and use two CDs for height. I pre-cut these with the Zing and Make the Cut software to create little banners to go across our string. I've already scored them in the center and now let's fold them over our twine. You will want to eyeball the spacing before and while you are adhering. Now for the letters that spell out DAD, I used Graphic 45's Typewriter Alpha Keys and embellish them with glossy accents. We also created and cut two poles in Make the Cut software and with our awesome Zing cutting machine. Cut two little pieces of double-sided sticky tape to place upon the lower half of your chevron pop-up. Next, adhere your poles. It's super cool how this works so easily. Make sure that these poles are at least double in thickness. And now to attach our banner twine to our poles, we're using the We Are Memory Keepers Big Bite to poach holes. Tie a knot around a little brad and poke the brad through the holes, opening up the little brad fingers. 
And this is our completed project. Happy Father's Day, Dad. You sure are awesome. And this is to commemorate all of your duties that you gave in the U.S. Navy. You are irreplaceable. Thank you so much for watching and be blessed beyond measure.